please read along with me to the story of The Lion and the Mouse, based on a fable by Aesop, retold by Jack Lowry. There once was a lion who, as he lay sleeping, was suddenly awoken by a mouse who was crawling over his tail. The lion quickly grabbed the mouse and was just about to eat him, when the mouse said, Please, great king of all animals, spare my life. I didn't mean to disturb your sleep. And why should I spare your life, said the sleepy lion. What can you do for me? Perhaps I can return the favor, said the mouse. The lion roared with laughter. Ha! I am a great animal, and you are so tiny. How could you ever help me? Save my life? I think not. He set the mouse down. Away with you! You are so small, you are not even worth eating. The mouse bowed before the lion and said, Thank you, sir. I look forward to the day I can repay you for showing mercy on me. Ha! Ah, said the lion, and he went back to sleep. A few days later, the mouse was climbing a bush to get some fruit, when he heard a roar from far away. That sounds like the lion's, he said to himself. He sounds like he's in trouble. He climbed down the bush and tried to figure out where the roar came from. Then he heard another roar. He climbed to the top of a tree that overlooked the valley, and he closed his eyes and angled his ears toward the sound. I think the lion is near the bend in the river, said the mouse. I wonder what is wrong. When he finally reached the bend in the river, he noticed there was a big hole in the ground. He moved closer and looked over the edge of the pit and saw the lion tangled up in a big net. The lion was lying on his side and breathing hard. Some hunters had set a trap for the lion, and the lion had fallen into it while going to the river for some water. Sir, said the mouse, just relax. I'll be right down there to help set you free. How can a little creature like you help me? asked the lion. I'm ten thousand times stronger than you, and I can't break through these ropes. When the hunters come for me, they'll kill me and use my fur for decoration. They'll mount my head on a wall and make up stories about how they killed me in battle. I'm as good as dead. I have an idea, said the mouse, as he quickly climbed down the pit and approached the lion. You spared my life, and now I'm going to return the favor. The mouse began to chew the rope that made up the net. He started with the area around the neck of the lion so the lion could breathe more easily. Then he moved straight down the side of the lion, careful not to accidentally bite the lion. When the mouse had finished chewing through enough of the net so the lion could escape, he said, Sir, I think you can get out now. The great beast rolled onto his stomach and stood up, shaking the net free. Mouse, I was wrong about you. Now I see how you are able to save my life. I thank you. The lion bowed his head before the mouse. It was my pleasure, said the mouse, returning the bow. Perhaps we should go before the hunters return. Good idea, said the lion and they both climbed out of the pit and were friends forever after. I hope you enjoyed this story, and if you go to my YouTube channel, you'll see more stories like this. I hope this helped you learn how to read. Have a great day.